Mm. Okay. Sorry to late. Um, waited and waited on these people to come and get it. And, uh, they haven't got here yet. The van sold it for junk. It's fucked up. But anyway. Um, make sure the chat is working for this. Yes, Kentucky. Okay. Okay. Get on the YouTube to catch it. Hey, babe. Better go ahead and plug my headphones in. I should have done that to begin with. Dirt. Okay. Shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Music. Oh, fuck. Okie dokie, got that. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, I'm not getting interrupted, so <laughs> um, I'll throw the link in there into YouTube there. Join if you want. And just let me get done with my thing here. Let's see. There we go. There we go. Uh, kids is out of school the rest of the week, so I was gonna do it tomorrow, and they're like, "Oh, there's no school tomorrow." So, uh, otherwise, I wouldn't get it done. <clears throat> so. This is left over from yesterday. It was so much. I do it in two here. So, um, so if I go quiet, all of a sudden, just know I had to mute. Uh, so there we go. Okay, uh, I hope that this is showing up. I have no way to see. But anyway. Uh, the medicinal, oh shit, Northern Red Oak, uh, the medicinal effects were known to the, well known to the ancients. The bark and inner bark are strongly fever reducing, antiseptic, and astringent. Like other astringents, it has been recommended for fevers and hemorrhages and can be used as a substitute for whatever that word is <laughs> in cases of intermittent fever. If you remember from, uh, I don't know what this title is, probably from a different article. Uh, galls can form on the surface of them. They contain the compound tannin, which has been, which has powerful med medicinal qualities. Been shown to be astringent and are prepared in tinctures to treat dysentery, diarrhea, and cholera. As an external local astringent, a gall ointment, one ounce powder galls, and four ounce benzoated lard can be applied to painful hemorrhoids to stop hemorrhage from the nose and gums wow uh the potawatomi a native american tribe used the bark of the red oak northern red oak to treat sores flux sore throat and indian itch it was also chewed the bark was also chewed to heal mouth sores or used externally to wash the skin for rashes burns or eruptions during the Civil War, the scarcity and expense of imported drugs forced the Confederate Army to establish several medical labs to manufacture drugs for military use. 
the labs often produce medicines from indigenous plants. See? Um, an inventory revealed the bark of the northern red oak was collected and prepared in the medis medical labs. The, le the northern red oak may have been an essential substitute for medicines that were difficult to be cured during that time. And it has been, today it has been shown to have benefits for cancer patients. There's another uh, cancer helper. Um, it is known that stress can affect immune function and that the immune system can regulate tumor growth. Depending on the side of the tumor body systems that are under stress, normal cells need to be supported to diminish the damage of cancer cells and to create an environment where cancer cells can be regulated. Cancer patients can suffer from a wide range of physical ailments that make them vulnerable. For cases of diarrhea, the bark of the northern red oak has been used for treatment. Um, I guess it's talking about medicines that they put them on, which the chemo is you know, bad, but you know, uh, anyway. Let's see here. What is this? I forgot. Sycamore. Um, this person's, it looks like, this, this looks like a good website too. Um, it grows rapidly. It causes the bark to shed in molten fashion like a birch tree. It's camouflage pattern of black, green, and brownish gray with creamy white background. Splotches causes the trunk to stand out in late fall and winter when forest leaves lay on the ground. The exfoliating bark and coloration makes the sycamore one of the easiest deciduous trees in the eastern woodlands to identify in the winter. Uh, here we go. The sycamore self-reliance. The fast-growing American sycamore likes wet bottom land near streams, rivers, ponds, and in full sun. Their leaves are similar to maple, but not as spectacular since they turn a boring brown in the fall. And the be beavers find the bark appetizing. Uh, bushcraft refers to the art. Uh, we know what bushcraft is. <laughs> Sycamore's fibers intertwine, making it an excellent wood for spoon and bowl carving. The wood tends to warp in the drying process, so use dried seasoned wood. Not rot resistance and shouldn't be used for long term structures exposed to the moisture. The sap offers a year round source of hydration in warm climates. The sycamore can also be tapped like a maple tree for syrup or sugar. There's the sugar substitute there. But it takes a lot of sap to make small batches of the syrup. Uh, shade casting crown of large trees offer shelter from the sun. Large leaves can be used as a wrap for slow cooked food over coals for an added sweet flavor. There's a close up of the leaf. And there, you know, in woodwork, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. Um, so, in medicine, the inner bark tea was used for a wide variety of treatments by Native Americans. Colds, coughs, and lung ailments, measles, emetic, call, emetic cause, induces vomiting. Laxative, astringent properties to treat skin issues and eye, rat, eye wash. Look at that. Sweet sap on the inner bark used for wound dressing. And the sap can be used to make wine. Uh, so this is from their backyard, I guess that's what it says. And they have a large grove of them growing on their farm there. So that's all for that one. Uh, let's see. Okay, okay. Uh, hey, Matt and Dave. Uh, a weeping willow. The leaves and bark are anti rheumatic, astringent, and tonic. A decoction of the leaves is used in the treatment of abscesses. Carbuncle, fever, rheumatism, skin diseases, ulcers, etc. 
Infusion of the bark has been used to treat diarrhea and fevers. It, the bark can be used as a poultice. The stem bark. He said, hell, he said he'd be on a little bit when he talked to me. Okay. Uh, the stem bark is used in the treatment of skin eruptions due to parasites. The root bark is used in a bath for the treatment of parasitic skin diseases. The gum from the stems is used in the treatment of bowel sores. The down of the seeds is used in the treatment of fevers, hemorrhages, jaundice, rheumatism, etc. The fresh bark of all members of the genus contains salicin, which probably decomposes in its silic. I can't pronounce that. That uh, closely related to aspirin uh, in the human body. This is used as an anodyne and febrifuge. Uh, edible. It's edible. So there you go. Uh, Okay, uh, they're <clears throat> inner bark, raw or cooked. It can be dried, ground into a powder, and then added to cereal flour for use in making bread, etc. A very bitter flavor. It is a famine food that is only used when all else fails. We see young shoots and flower buds cooked, not very palatable. Older leaves are used to adulterate tea, a source of a manna like substance so you know if you've got weeping willows around you know you can use the bark and stuff there to, you can eat it um but you gotta do it right you know you probably look up how to do it so uh here we go other uses the stems are very flexible and are used in basket making the plants usually co -pissed annually when grown for basket making though it is possible to pass it every two years if thick poles are required as upright so you ain't got to um cut the tree down i guess just cut the limbs off maybe i don't know how that <laughs> works so you say you could look into that also a decoction or infusion of the bark has been used as a wash to make the hair grow so there's something if you're wanting to get your hair to grow. Um, there's that. Uh, seed must be surface sown as soon as it is dropped in late spring. It has a very short viability. Cuttings of mature wood of the plants of the cuttings of mature wood of the current year's growth, November to February, in a sheltered outdoor bed or planted straight into the permanent position and given a good weed suppression mulch it's very easy to take care of so um there we go that uh there's a this is the carolina um willow it's a different 
few different varieties of the willow tree. Uh, like it said there, it's edible. Um, so there it shows where they ground it up and be added to make bread and other and other food. Uh, it's high in vitamin C. See, um, so I'll, leave, I'll post these underneath and post them to my Google. Uh, who he knew about that chewing leaves of willow reduce pain for childbirth also in fact he prescribed it uh, dozens of Indian tribes use willows to relieve the fevers aches and pains you know like I said on the other one to, to make aspirin um, 60 years for 60 years in the 1800s, scientists tried to make an artificial aspirin that did not upset the stomach greatly and didn't succeed till then. You know, there, there's a natural one there. <clears throat> it tells you how, you know, when you chew on it, it mixes with your stomach acid and everything. Um, Black dye can be made from it also. And the white willow yields cinnamon colored dye. Let's see, you make all that stuff with it just like with the other. Uh, and they, they're you know, found near water. So uh, here's the black willow. It's not got a picture of it. I think it's this, it's, it's, you know, the, let's see, there's the common names, black willow and pussy willow, uh, them grows everywhere around here, um, it tells you what they look like and everything, um, action medical uses and dosage, it's recommended as a poultice in gangrene and as an external application to foul and indolent ulcers and rice poisoning in which it stands unrivaled. It is made by simmering the powdered bark and cream and has also been successfully used in various swellings of the neck. Internally, the root is bitter tonic, effectual in intermittence. Some have highly recommended it in asthma and gout. And a deco decoction of the black willow buds or immense taken internally and applied locally is useful in gangrene and drank freely. It proves a powerful anaphrodisiac, suppressing venereal diseases for a long time. So, it, the, you know, they used these back then, you know, so uh, it shows you don't, if you know what you're doing, you know. You could use this stuff instead of their medicines. But you go do your research on it first. It's highly recommended in the treatment of sperm. However, you say that word. Um, that says it's not been abundantly verified in the last few years. The drug is not only anaphrodisiac, but by controlling genital irritability, it becomes a marked sexual sedative and tonic. It's not a remedy for psychological losses, nor is a beneficial action to be expected in case requiring operative measures of the hands. Okay, I don't <laughs> know what they're talking about. Its field of action is in these functional wrongs of the reproductive organs do mostly largely to undo irritability of the parts and thought to be less due to mental or emotional causes. Uh, it's aphrodisiac, you just leave it at that. So, um, there you go uh, for that one. Okay. The cottonwood, the inner bark was consumed. I'll try to find some pictures and post of these on my Google. I, I thought I had pictures with it. Um, cottonwood, the inner bark was consumed by various native 
Indian tribes in order to prevent scurvy. The bark of most, if not all, members of the genus contain salicin. It's yeah, it's in the same genus as the willow. So um, it's a treatment for headaches, uh, rheumatism, and fevers. Okay, and that's just showing you how to harvest it. Our, our's a cottonwood tree. And then here, a lot of them here too. Uh, I'm just telling you how they collected it and how they made it into the salve and everything. Uh, references there. Uh, let's see. Okay, balsam poplar. It's a long history of medicinal use. It was used by the native Indian tribes to treat a variety of complaints, but especially to treat skin problems and lung ailments. In modern herbalism, it is valued as an expectorant and antiseptic tonic. The leaf buds are antiscorbutic, antiseptic, diuretic, expectorant, stimulant, tonic. They're covered with resinous sap that has a strong turpentine odor and bittery taste. They're boiled in order to separate the resin and the resin is then dissolved in alcohol. The resin is a folk remedy used as salve and washed for sores, rheumatism, wounds, etc. It's made into a tea and used as a wash for sprains, inflammation, muscle pains, etc. And the tea is used for lung ailments and coughs. And the buds can also be put in hot water and used as an inhalant to relieve congested nasal passages. The bark is cathartic and tonic. Although no specific mention has been seen for this species, the bark of most, if not all members of the genus, contains salicin to produce aspirin. Um, the, the, the bark is therefore anodyne, anti-inflammatory, and febrifuge. Uh, so it, it, a lot of these trees, you know, the barks. Let's see who we got in here. Hey, Dave. Hey, what's happening? Eh, same old, same old. <laughs> uh, I saw that Matt was shilling in the chat box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see you, Matt. <laughs> oh, Lord. And this one here is about the same thing there. See, you know, a lot of these trees, you know, like what people knew back then, from the Native Americans, you know, what to use for this kind of stuff, you know, and and now look, the woods are burning. <laughs> so, and this is called oh. the quaking. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I was, I was going to say, one time I seen this thing oh. that uh, the first condoms were used out of some intestinal lining of an animal or something. Oh, man. I think I've heard that somewhere too. In, in hmm. like ancient times, so I guess that's kind hmm. of a natural STD prevent prevention. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There you go. See, I never knew that about that uh, black willow either. So that was new to me. I mean, I'd read it last night, but I still, I was like, wow. You know, see, they knew, you know, things to use for. All that stuff, you know. Nowadays, they got you taking all kinds of fucking pills, you know. So. Oh, yeah. All kinds of expensive shit. Yep. Yeah. This one here is called the Quaking Aspen. I don't remember why. <laughs> I think it. I know this is paper birch. And what, and what STD did that last thing prevent? For a, a lot of, it said for oh. any STDs, so I don't, I, he, he, people, I guess you just have to look into it and see, you know, so. Well, I I, I asked because if it was something like uh, herpes, I guess, sh I'm not positive on this, but I guess shingles is similar to it. I wonder if it would work for that. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I guess you'd have to. You know, look into it. 
I guess because I guess I guess we all get infected with it. It's just whether it comes yeah. out or not. Yeah. Here it says paper birch leaves and twigs can be boiled and used as an anti-inflammatory. I mean, uh, a lot of these. I mean, look, look what all it does. <laughs> I mean, every one of them you can use the bark as a medicine, and the leaves. You know, some of them. <laughs> See how you can make it. a cup. Oh, look, it catches fire even if wet. I didn't. Um, and see there, makes the aspirin too. Must must have uh, be really oily. Must be. Yes, yes, it is. See, but look, there's a dandruff treatment. The species oil was used to treat dandruff and as a perfume. Hmm. And used for treating colds, dysentery, and urinary issues. And for horses' hooves, <laughs> uh, a resin can be used uh, as a glue. Uh, archaeological research shows it has been used for at least 80,000 years. Wow. Well, like car. Okay, okay. Cool. Hmm. That's pretty interesting. Ancient Greeks used to tar them in pottery and make putty with it. Wow. When it cools, it's waterproof and not brittle. And it was used to glue arrowheads to the shafts. Oh, wow. So when you got shot with an arrow, you got a retroactive disinfectant with it. <laughs> yeah, you did. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. That's they were hurting night. me. Oh, yeah, it is. It's mighty nice. <laughs> they hurt me and healing you at the same time. <laughs> See, there's the birch tree. <laughs> this is mythology about it and stuff, the history about it, legends and stuff. I thought it was pretty interesting. Uh, I'm not going to read it, but you know, I'm gonna, I'll post it underneath and on my Google there. So um, they'd have to to get it. They'd have to heat it up, maybe press it. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that's pretty interesting there. It's always interesting to read these, the histories of how this, you know, stuff like this was used back in ancient times and stuff. So, you know, how, people wonder, how did they get this? How did they get that? This is how. See, they made uh, cribs, shoes, lamps, wooden shoes. You know, I mean, uh, I mean, here, you know, we had tar, <laughs> uh, tar shoes. Uh, at any rate, um, lampshades and toys. I understand it made a hell of a switch for kids. Oh, yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I got many a whooping with one. Uh, they didn't make you go get your own, did they? Of course. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Insult to injury. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and if it wasn't good enough, you had to go back and get another one. <laughs> so, that was always nice. <laughs> so, I'll put, like I said, I'll put all this stuff underneath and y'all can read it and stuff. I got to get rid of these tabs. And, that 
basket looks like it's leather, so they must have used it to glue leather. Yeah, it does. But it's also, you know, probably kind of flexible if it's got a lot of wa water in it, you know. Uh, I think that was that one. I think, well, they, a, lot, a, lot, a lot of them do retain a lot of water, so especially the willow tree. Well, no, I, I say that because I'm sure they use that on a lot of their boats that they built, oh, too, yeah. for yeah. an adhesive Just let the chat know. I wasn't ignoring them. <laughs> uh, anyway. Hey, Debbie and Foxy. Matt. Um, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're funny, Grim. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I'll post all that stuff here in a bit. Oops. <laughs> a band. We're all banned. <laughs> if you're not getting banned, you're not doing your job. <laughs> right. I threw the link in there. It should still be in there if anybody else wants to join us. So, uh, okay. Speaking of wood, he's carrying in some more wood. <laughs> Yeah, there's smoke. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of smoke out here today. There wasn't this morning, but it's moved in here this well, it's, you know, it's this evening now. So, <laughs> no one's allowed to take vaccines. <laughs> yeah, no shit, huh? Awesome. <laughs> Next time I go to the doctor and they offer me one of those vaccines, I'm going to say, sorry, I'm banned from taking them. <laughs> 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 oh, God. <laughs> I'll, print me up an, I'll print me up an official card and uh, laminate it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm officially banned. <laughs> Oh yeah, Debbie. I'm glad your surgery went good, but it sucks you're not you. Your plans was ruined for this Thanksgiving too. So that sucks. I wish I could unplan my plans. <laughs> no, I'm not going nowhere. So stay at home. So. I had an idea. Maybe you could uh, do like an in instructional thing if you got some of those herbs in, or whatever in your area and uh, kind mm. of prep them up. And yeah. Maybe if it wasn't so cold <laughs> outside. Well, no, I'm just talking about the future. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that would be good. It may, maybe if you come down with a, a, a cut or... An il illness, you could do like a, a yeah. vlog of, you know, how it makes how it, you how feel it or yeah, yeah, like a case study yes. kind of thing. Be a guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we're all guinea pigs anyway, so best do it on yourself than they do it to you. No, I wouldn't object to doing that myself. Yeah, I know, yeah. I mean, them primroses, you know, there's a bunch of them uh, down the road here. Um, I mean, a bunch of them, because it's right by a little creek. And, well, guess what? They mowed them all down, of course. I mean, there was a bunch of them. Well, because in, in the past, when I've had respiratory things coming on, I've uh, boiled uh, camphor leaves and inhaled the steam. Mama used to do that when I was a kid, too, yeah. And it's cleared it up. 
unfortunately, this last bout hit me. It was a little beyond that. Mm-hmm. But like that birch stuff, camphor's uh, a pretty oily leaf. The wood. I don't. I don't know what what you could do with the wood, the bark part of it or anything. Mm. Well, I'll post all that stuff uh, here. I'm done with this hangout. I think I still got the link. Yes. There you go, Foxy. I sent you the link. And you other guys want to join. Yeah, that's right, Grim. Smoke some weed. It's an anti-inflammatory, Debbie. That's right. Bonsai, that space cookie. (laughs) (laughs) No, the weed, the actual weed. So, yeah. Okay. Oh no, not that. Okay. There we go. Boom. Thanks, Buffy. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, everybody in the chat. You alright? Yeah. I've got a question then on natural herbs. I'll jam my blinking right finger in an oven oh. um, thing, yep, and I don't want to take any of the mainstream painkillers. So what's a good natural painkiller? Got any information? Mm, I can look. I've done stuff on it before. I've got to look. Look, natural Thank you. Okay. I'm testing your knowledge. I legit enjoy. I thought might as well. <laughs> I, I did know some on the top of my head, but uh, okay. Uh, Mind you, this is meant to be my good right hand, but I think it's badly sprained now as well. It says it. Here's Tina says, if you're looking for strong natural painkillers, these are some of the best options to choose from. Endorphins, fish oil, serapeptase, willow, white willow bark. I just, you know, was yeah, talking about that. So. Yeah. Uh, turmeric, capsaicin. Oh, right, yeah, I've done this on the link. Yes, Mr. Grimm, yeah. thank you. Brilliant. Yes, I'll get some of that. Awesome. All right. Big <laughs> thumbs up to you guys. Big time. Thank you. Yes. Yes, I'll get some of that the shop tomorrow. Wait until oh. she sends you the bill. <laughs> <laughs> I dread that. I've got everyone else chasing me. It's been one of them days, you know. Don't worry. It comes in threes. First, I have the mush machine slips. Ah! But they mess me All up. All right. Awesome. Yeah, we're going, we're going that one. Well, that's another story another day. And what went on with all that. And then there was this uh trying to get my food and my mate they were, they were like late and then yeah. when I can't get to the shopping time, I think it's closed and it's like, Oh, going against my grain, frozen potatoes in the oven. And I'm being stubborn trying to help her. And I've got a bloody finger jammed in the bloody door thing. Damn. <laughs> that sucks. It comes in threes, doesn't it? I just wondered, it, it where's that? I, I don't know where that saying comes from. It comes in threes, but I feel it does. So I'm just waiting for the next thing to happen, you know. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just trying to eat a salad because it takes forty minutes for these frozen, horrible roast potatoes <laughs> to cook. Oh man, <laughs> I'd rather eat fresh, but I, I, I just my body been out yesterday in that weather, doesn't it's really, really you know. We went to Aldi's this morning and I got some different stuff, you know, they got a lot of more, a lot more organic and uh, wow, monkey, but, but the, <laughs> I was gonna get pizza crust, you know, the the yeah. gluten free, organic, non GMO. It's like you know, a little packet and it's like fucking four dollars. My God, 
you know, I'm like, my God. And then you got to buy the sauce and the other stuff that's not, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, so I didn't get it. But I did get other things that were, you know, not not the that were organic and stuff. So, um, I'm just thinking to a boring old salad at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I might have Richard. even more than Oh, it's just in this weather, a world has turned a bit warmer. And, uh, but trying to get the ingredients, you know, and it's like, oh, God, it's an effort, isn't it? And trying to find the non GOM. It, nothing's labelled. That's what gets me. And it's like, and, and so you study and pictures or something online. How do you really know, you know? And it's not until you get the stuff out. It's like that woman did that video, didn't she, about the cabbage? Yes. And, and, yes. Oh my God, it put me on cabbage now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like cabbage anyway, but that is. Makes me hot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, shouldn't say that on her. But it does. Like, brush, mm. like, like anything, cabbage, it makes the digestive system seems. I don't know if anyone else had that problem. But it, but it makes you like. Um, it just happens. It's natural body function, it makes you fart. <laughs> <laughs> like broccoli, I got some broccoli. Yeah. Too, so yeah, make some broccoli for the kids. Well, only Emily eats it, so I just got the two head things. It'd just be me and her eating it, so because the other yeah. ew broccoli, gross. <laughs> <laughs> but I used oh. to hate it. I used to hate it till I got uh, pregnant with her. Actually, oh, I know. Uh, that was you know two years ago, and I'm like. I couldn't get enough of it, so maybe, maybe that's why I like it now. <laughs> anyway. Well, actually, that's interesting you say that because I've been on that. That's the only kind of that category of vegetable I can actually eat is broccoli because it's soft. Yes, you know, it is. And uh, once it's cooked, I mean, some people might like it undercooked, but I like it properly cooked, yeah. steamed. You know? Yeah, steamed. So, yeah. yeah. So, so, so <laughs> well, I got that free, you know, as a free gift ages ago. But my mate, I've got to teach you how to clean it because <laughs> <laughs> it's made of steel, and it, it, if you're not careful, yeah. you don't use a yes. thing yes. to clean it with. I had the set, you know, had this, you know, the big, medium, and the small. You know, know, like it got kids, man. <laughs> you know, yeah. they the wrong thing or something, you know, and it ruins it. That's so, I, I, I had a beautiful or, set given to me and to cook, trying to cook all the natural herb ingredients. I mean, oh my. It, it, isn't it, it's an effort, isn't it? Trying to figure out what to eat, be, um, what to get, how, where to buy, um, limitations of finance. There's all these issues that comes in, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. And it does. So, yeah, it, it, all this knowledge, I mean, what gets me, how do you really know these things you get? Like, they say organic in the shop, right. how do you really know it is, you know? Exactly. The label, does that really say? And then until you start researching, I mean, you can't open the packets in the shop, can you? No. You know, just <laughs> I would love to get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to investigate more, but you get the security people now looking at you, funny if you do. I did try it. Yeah. But um, I think, I don't know, this is a bloody complex world and trying to, you know, get this stuff. I mean, if people grow it, great. You can do your own stuff that way, but you do what one can, you know? Yeah. I wondered why y'all were so muffled. I didn't have my headphones plugged in all the way. There. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I'm not used to these. Uh, they're limited on your. They're shorter than my others. <laughs> Don't just handle yourself with them, do you? I know I'm about to jerk them out of my ears already, so. <laughs> oh my god. Yay. Quite right. have that. There's my keyboard over there. Okay. And there's Firecat. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Yes, my finger. Oh. It's going good, but I'm not even supposed to be here. I'm, I have so much work to do. Bad. Bad. I'm very bad. <laughs> bad fire cat. No, punch cat. Yeah, my new name. 
<laughs> it was only a matter of time until I <laughs> split <laughs> into different personalities. Oh, Took well, me a while. Don't go there. <laughs> I couldn't, well, you I have more than me. <laughs> I couldn't find a good picture for a punch cat. I was looking too. It's harder than you think. A punch cat. I was Google googling punch cat, and yeah, well, I'm just gonna have to, I mean, draw one myself, I guess. <laughs> I would draw you one, but I can't draw animals. So, uh, ah, but you put, know someone who can. Yeah, I'll my little one can. I see on my, my little one. My my little one could probably draw you one. She's got really good. Yeah. So, I say, draw me a punch cat. And yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> and then I do have yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what I'll do. See Becky, you're already starting an art business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, go, my, cousin, my cousin was telling me this morning he knows this lady, uh, she's half uh, Cherokee, but she's an artist. You know, I mean uh -huh. she does he said she does everything, you know, art related, but um oh, cool. he's wanting to take her Take Emily over there to see see her. So that'd be really good. Her. Yeah, because I knew this uh, American Indian. He would make these beautiful handcrafted jackets, leather jackets yes. that would sell for seven hundred and eight hundred a piece. I mean, they, they were working hard. Too. Yeah, they did them here, uh, not far from here. Uh, yeah, too. We had a have a had a medicine man, or have I think we still do, but yeah. I used to go there and get tea tree oil for my ears. You know, oh, they, they would they, sell the herb stuff and medicine. Yeah, they, yeah. 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 It is a sad that they wiped out, you know, all that, I mean, because they would know, I mean, all the plants that grow here, you know, I just walk over them. They could be used all yeah. kinds of uses. Oh, yeah. If they can get wiped out. I think I found one. Do you know what I'd like to actually have is the medical mark. Um, kind of pronounce it cannabis oil, yeah, the, yeah. the organic version. I, I was just reading the link from posted in the chat, and it's very interesting. All sorts of cures, helpful, oh, yeah. you know. Oh, it is very, yeah. And it, if it was decriminalized, the quality of life is, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Because the without having too much about CBD, is it? The, the, um, yeah, the I think that's what they call it. Yeah, they take yeah. the psycho, uh, I forget what they call it, but yeah, that's stuff. Endo, that endo cannabinoids. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> I think, oh, I was just reading. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this, you can't get you high if it's going to be used as a medicine, so. Yeah. Yeah. Because what I was trying to do with the <laughs> yeah. Where did he put it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, Grim's posted the link in the chat. Anyone wants to look at it because I'm reading it and I think it's thinking good. The information yes. of my, you know, if I could take these kind of herbs, I just the, there's a lot of people over the years pushing the US, uh, not US, UK people to try and get it decriminalized for medical purposes. And there's been a few yes. cases, law cases, and I don't know what's happened with it. I haven't kept up to date with it. But yeah, I know people get stuff under the under their hand, yeah, under under the counter. But yeah, because most of people are seen sniff it out and dob you in. <laughs> if you get, it, you know, it's it's not worth the hassle, especially when you rent a place. You know, you gotta be careful these days. But are you talking uh, about yeah. dodgy medicine? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not medicine! All, right. <laughs> All the time, when it gets away with it. But I need it for medical. <laughs> Look, come on, general medical reason. And if I haven't, I'll, I'll be the first one on the target list. You know, He's the target list. Oh God, where's my Christmas? <laughs> That's what I want for Christmas. It's a nice batch. For personal yeah. use only. <laughs> great. You never know who's listening. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear nothing. <laughs> no. But I haven't. I bet soon the will get raided. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. You have to have probable cause. Yeah. Unless you have probable cause. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, they, uh, 
I was gonna say maybe one of the queen's airplanes will drop the load in the wrong spot. <laughs> hey, just like they did to the asses. Oops, we just dropped the flies. Oops, <laughs> they fell into their hands. <laughs> no, they, uh, my, my cousin was also telling this this morning that they upped the fines for seatbelt violations. Oh yeah, they're doing all sorts in this blinking country. I mean, I'm just here with something tomorrow. Even in the back seat, you know, you got to wear the seatbelt now, you know, and uh, yeah. he's like, you know, I thought it was, you know, up to you if you wanted to wear that or not. And he's like, I'm like, are you kidding? Anyway, they can make money. Yeah. In Grimes County, they don't enforce that. They let us die. <laughs> yeah, hey, man, it's your choice, you know, so. It is our really. choice. <laughs> Yeah. See if yeah. that was if that was really in the interest of safety, they would just give you a warning and that was it. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. It's in the interest of warning. I like just one my oh, sorry. My going off. I've got a stray cat to come to visit again. Oh, oh sorry. You were saying. You oh, hello, Graham. Yeah. Oh I like your I like yeah. your avatar. Of course, Mr. Can you do cat kung fu? Yes, very kung fu. <laughs> Looks like you got a question down there in the chat from free fiction uh, fighter. Something about pancreatic. We're not doctors, man. I don't. I, I, we're not going to give medical advice. Or at least I'm not. <laughs> nah. I'll make suggestions where you could research and stuff. That's about it. I can't tell you what you should do for your stuff. That's a, a liability yeah, that's, issue that'll. That's, 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 that's a rope a dope. I mean, you know. Speak from a personal experience. Mm. Oh yes, especially cancer. No, I would. I wouldn't even want to. Just suggest where to research. Yeah. Yeah, you research on your own. But yeah, we're yeah, good to write them, yes. Yeah. It, it is best independently research if you're able to. Um, there is where, uh, there is information out there on the on the internet. We want to know about truth about cancer. You can go on YouTube and watch the videos. Yes. Yeah. Because I I keep getting all them blinking emails and I oh my constantly. <laughs> but it's interesting when they have the debates on, you know, and uh, I find that interesting when they debate it. And they can just pick up their own opinion on it. So, yeah, yeah, you're right. Getting that disclaimer. Brilliant. Yes. Yeah. Let's see that. Oh, yeah. That's very nice. <laughs> yeah, it's just not good losing that amount of weight. Makes yeah. You drink water instantly, oh, like pickles do. Mm -hmm. You smell pickles. Oh, God. You smell the water. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of pickles you talk about? Are they like onion pickles? Oh, this is, he's talking about the weed. He's talking about the weed. <laughs> <laughs> I can pick that up. I'm just going to pickles. Oh, I don't think I would do it. Oh, come on. You're California. I'm in UK. It's not fair. Oh, I don't know where it's the best for you. <laughs> Probably right not there. Not there, not oh. there. <laughs> I'll tell you, I did, I, uh, a mate of mine had a tiny bit and gave it to me to try. And uh, a acquaintance of his had a farm on the outskirts in one's area. And he grew the plants and he got rid of them because he had to care for his relative and they were concerned in case they place got raiders, you know. But it's only a small amount, you know, personal use. But still, it smells, you know, they're quite potent. But he had a bit for me to try. He got given a bit, so I tried a bit. And I don't smoke. <laughs> you could imagine me coughing up. And I said, OK, well, um, <clears throat> and, and then next thing I'm laughing my head off. Oh, God. <laughs> and next minute I had the munchies they call them the munchies and the next minute I was like chilled out really like I was floating on air and that's my experience <laughs> a little while ago now 
But yeah, but I didn't feel no pain, no stress, nothing. It was like quite a chill out effect. Not a high effect, just a real relaxation, yeah. Yeah, I think basically the only reason it's really a good a painkiller is because uh, it's an anti-inflammatory. Yes. Like it's not really a painkiller so much, you know, like it's shutting just, off the pain. It's it's anti-inflammatory, but um, it does work for pain because most people are their pain is inflammation and they don't know it. And relaxes that, you too. Yeah. I have tried Devil Claw, the cream and the actual tablet form, and a quite high percentage with the Devil Claw in that tablet format. It'll help you store it's like taking one three times a day dosage for anti inflammatory effect on the muscles and the and and generally for, for health purposes. And I find the cream, the gel, it does help the joint. You know, and uh, but mind you, it's bloody expensive in these health food yeah. shops. Uh, so, uh, for about nine tablets, brown little small round tablets, you're talking about nine tablets will be about four weeks supply, that's about 13 quid. Yeah. So, you know, you're trying to like put the healthy stuff in with the mainstream poison, I call it now. Um, so I'll, I'll get there eventually to win a four crap from the mainstream crap, I call it. I would, you know, but I would recommend anyone doing what I'm doing. I'm just learning how to do it slowly because the body's so used to this stuff for years. Yes. So, yeah. Because you just don't come off it just like that. You have to be, be so careful what you do. Yes. It's like when my old dear was it's, a bit It's weird how you, 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 you would imagine you just don't start it just like that, too, then. I know, I know. If you, it's, if you can't just quit it like that, why would you just start it like that? You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, yeah. that's yeah. another thing that we got to pay to, you know, from now on. You know, pay, I, I've been paying attention to with all that shit. Yes. You know, a lot of, I think, a lot of the reasoning they tell you, don't quit, don't just quit it. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. They don't want you to quit it. Well, actually, keep it. There are other drugs, though, that are. You can't just quit like I know, them. like Valium and a lot of most all the drugs that are heavy like that because what they're doing is replacing yes what yeah. your body would normally be making, which gives the it, the illusion the body that it doesn't need to produce it, so it stops it fails to produce that. So, so yes, it's all, but you can break that thing if you don't stop taking yeah. it. Even if you're taking it less and less and less, it's better to just say fucking deal with it and Take, gift your fucking heart attack from fucking quitting that shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then keep on poisoning yourself with it. You, you know, it'll force your system into pushing a restart. And then now, oh, God, and it'll pump that shit again. You know, well, I'm not yeah. just saying to do that, though. I'm just saying that right. me personally, that's what I would be doing. I would just quit. I don't fucking get on their medications like that's, that. That's me, man. You know, if I've I'm had, forced to, I quit, well. you know. Yeah, there's some had any trouble quitting uh, taking prescription drugs. I didn't, I don't even like to take them. I never did, but you know when I did, mm -hmm. I would take just the minimum of what. Yeah. You know, and, and I go I'd to get, the dentist. It'll tell you. I I I'll go to the dentist and get tooth pulled with just the uh, the shit injections. He never has to prescribe me the antibiotics because it's never rotten. Right. I mean, it's never swollen when I go in. You know to do it because yeah. I fix that shit with colloidal silver. You know, if yeah, and, yeah. yeah, fix it and salt water and colloidal silver. You know, and it's like, what else do you need when you actually kill the bacteria that's creating the tooth infection and it just stops the swelling, but everything's back to normal? Yeah, and and yeah. the uh, you can still use it now again, but the thing is, is it's always a hole there, it's always going to be taking food in. You can never always yeah. keep it completely clean, you yeah, know what I mean? Right. So uh, that's my problem. So I just go in and fucking pull them out. You know, don't, don't, yeah. I, don't I don't get root canals and all that, putting dead, you know, keeping yeah. my dead tooth in there and then collecting the bacteria at all times. Bullshit that yeah. people do. They don't realize it. They're leaking bacteria deadly, you know, into their bloodstream every time they take a bite yeah. or whatever. Yep. Yeah. Um, right in that place that you just mentioned. Because cause I've noticed the past weeks, all right, I've got the holes and I they want them all out eventually, which I need to get done. 
But in the meantime, we'll be doing exactly what you said, the, the Call of Silver, the Sea Salt Mouth Washes, and uh, Alameda as well, which you've placed on the right. And, uh, and yeah, it's keeping it at bay. So, infection wise, you know, inflammation wise. So, yeah, put some coconut oil in there and it kills the, yeah. stops that other bacteria from even starting to form and it gives your tooth yeah. a chance to try and heal if it can. Yeah. Like, um, my name is. Yeah, I don't say, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like the coconut oil as a, especially your mouth out with. That's what my neighbor was saying about, like, you know, you go, oh, it's a little bit oily. There's a thing where you just, there's just like oil pulling the collar or something. You just keep the oil in there all, for as long as you can, you know, in your mouth, in that spot. Yeah. Oh, natural, yeah, cooking oil. How many uses do you can use for that as well? Well, it kills that particular, you know, Bacillus, oh, cockle, just even you just whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I've been to get a jar for for ages, and I uh, just keep putting it on, and everything else comes back in it. And I say, I thought, ah, oh, right, somebody sent me a Christmas gift, and so I thought, right, I could, I could use that to, have to go and get the jar now. Treat myself early. Dispensive. Breaking up. I could always hear you, but you've been you breaking up a little bit. I don't know if it's still. because you're far away or if it's your wireless. That's why I'm sorry. Didn't want to make a big deal about it. Is that better? No. Mm hmm Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. So how are you? Are you green? Oh yeah. Cool. How am I? Yeah. Uh, better than average. <laughs> <laughs> How did you guys celebrate the uh, what do you call it? Coming up Thursday, Thanksgiving. That's it. What's that meant to be about? <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't pay too much too much attention to that stuff. It's a bit clashes in that, really, isn't it? It's family all year round. It's not just one day a year for me. It's family all year. It's the other thing. shit's just weird. I, I don't care about that shit. Is that too much Sorry, pressure? Sorry, everybody. Don't give a fuck about Pilgrim Murder Day. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I, I, I've come Natural across that age. Trickery bullshit. That's yeah. what I was saying. You know, I wish I didn't. That, that, yeah. Uh, I would rather not do anything. Yeah, we're not celebrating it at all. It's like, what the hell, man? The Jews own the turkey market, too? Yeah, it's exactly. <clears throat> it's a bit like in this country. We go big on the Christmas thing, you know? And it's like, there's so much pressure and commercialism. And then we got, don't even get me started about Black Friday. Oh, they got this They've yeah. got that now going on in Great Britain. Blinking I, I mean, I try not to. I try not to ever talk about things like the obvious or whatever, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That shit's just, it's there for me to do that. I'm not going to do it, you know? That's why you don't see me making video after video after video after video about this election bullshit. Just get oh, my yeah. point out, you know, comment yeah. on everyone else's videos. <laughs> But I mean, I'm not here to fucking, you know, do what these guys are doing. And you can see you, this election is so, it's made it so clear that all these fucking people out here are fear porn, hustling, fucking bait, bait, yes. cl bait clicking uh, view whores. All right. There, mm. There's none of them are out here actually thinking about anything. None of yeah, them. Yeah, the Google I mean, Plus is them, getting Maybe one destroyed. of them, one or yeah. two top. I mean, but I mean, as far as when you look at the massive... You, imagine this blue dot for all the people who are not aware who think they're aware and a red dot for all the people who are aware just colors mean nothing significantly just clearing up the two and you look out and it looks like a ocean of blue dots you don't see the red dots they're not even yep. visible because there's yeah. so many other blue dots covering it up it's 
you know, so excuse me if I've stepped on a red dot with that statement, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. It's just amplification of stuff that we shouldn't even be paying attention to. It's deliberate distractions of mm -hmm. the wor worst content, too. Well, I know. And then they, I don't even want to know. That they're so fucking aware and awake. And like, Trump for president. Or, you know, know. And if you say, hey, no, Trump is bad. And they're like, no, well, you're Hillary is even worse. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, no yeah. shit. That's why I don't go for either yeah. of them. You're not listening. Both. Wow. Both Jesuits. But Bernie Sanders, he was a good guy. No, he actually <laughs> wasn't either. Did you see any no. of that shit? Ah, damn. The like, hell no. here is what's on the news, right? Well, Trump said CNN is bad. <laughs> Fuck. Even CNN showed you CNN was bad. Uh, hello? <laughs> Something's go Something's up here. <laughs> That's just to distract you from building oh, yeah. up more life. It's a new conditioning rationale, too. It's this new conditioning rationale. Mm. You know, understand that the government's throwing itself under the bus so that we want yes. a new template, UN rule, to come in. Yeah. I don't know. People yes. cannot fit that in their paradigms. They, the cog BA locks that out every time. Uh, block, 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 block. That's the simplest uh, thing that you can imagine. Right there. This is, That's what my cousin said this morning, okay? He's yeah. like, we're lucky Hillary didn't get in, or we'd, uh, China would be owning us. And I'm like, China then owns a lot of land here. Well, we'd be completely slaves. If That's if also a legendary shit. Like, the people in China are actually owned by I know, England I know. anyway. So England owns this shit. It's like I said. Via you know, proxy, things. China bank rolls and shit, you know games and money in all England, which is not England. It's you know the British. Men of the covenant. It's the issue. I know, I know, you know, in you. <laughs> when I tell them this stuff, man, they just look at me like this. Yeah. And then continue on to the what they were ever talking the about. Crypto to <laughs> die yeah. mind tricks. <laughs> that glazed over look on her face, like. Okay, mm. now we were talking about. Uh, Colloidal silver. Right here, actually. A little silver. <laughs> keep it on my tooth. I had coffee, so I could keep it on my tooth. <laughs> yeah. So what do you do? What do you do, right? Hide in the woods. Hide in the woods. I did my job. Well, when they burn them down, what am I supposed to do? Oh, yeah, they do that. <laughs> they did it here. I made a good analogy um, about this shit to um, forestry, you know, the give and take, you know, and the controlled opposition and the Hegelian dialect. It's like when they do controlled burns in forestry. You know, yeah. they defuse the fucking what could have been wild and out of control for them by doing these controlled burns. And they start up the argument with controlled opposition and then burn the argument out with control over the opposition. And then that way it's like a burn row is put in the, between the fields. So it's harder for the uh, start the wild, uh, you oh, know, forest fire among the people. You understand of consciousness. Yes. Yeah, yes. They it's do. All that's what they do. You understand it that way, then you have the key. Yeah. You, now you know. And, yeah, you that's know, a good way of putting it. Then when you go to do your investigating, you know, use that comfort bias and look for things along that line. Now, most people will tell you not to do that, but most people don't know how to fucking find the truth either. You know, you go with your intuition with the truth mm -hmm. like that. You don't ever yeah. fight your intuition. It's there for a fucking reason. Right. Yeah, and, and and you're not always going to be right until you start learning to trust it properly. The can it'll it'll come in that like, you'll be like, damn, I'm right. Nine times out of ten now, after a few years of practicing that, you can't just change the way you think overnight. So practice, and and you know, that's why I do that stuff to my friends even because I do it to myself. I'm not doing nothing to my friends. Yes. I wouldn't do to myself. When I say shit, like I'm not correcting y'all or anything like out of oh, a we place know. of disrespect. 
when I do <laughs> shit, I'm saying, hey, look at this bright idea over here. Yeah. I, I think of it this way, so it keeps me from getting vortexed into that train of thought over there. Mm -hmm. That's it. You know, so. Ain't nobody's perfect either, so. Fuck no. Well, we're all still Far from it. <laughs> to follow a certain pattern. And we need to break away from that to, you know, that, that takes, you know, like, like when you, with the religion, you know, brain being brainwashed into that shit, you know, it took years to get over that. And, and then everybody else around you is still like, you know, and you're like, oh my God, you know, I'm like the only one here that thinks this way, you know, I know. I'm not joking either. <laughs> you know, the only reason I understood that conversation you just had with us is because I'm stoned. Because <laughs> then you're like, and then so I'm like, and then you know, know. I'm like, <laughs> it's, it's I totally understand though. I do. I, know. I don't know how, but I did. I was Thank like, you. <laughs> why you were like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness! Uh, if we weren't live, I'd tell you a story when I was a kid, but we're live. <laughs> uh, tell it anyway. <laughs> no. 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 no, 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 no. This is the gangster boogie. Well, my cat's dead set on chewing my cord. Oh my into God! The first thing you said was my cat's dead, and I thought, oh my oh, God. No. <laughs> dead. Oh, oh no! So oh my God! God! We have to all cry now. <laughs> <laughs> my synapses go too fast. I'm ready to answer like the first or third. Oh no! I was, I was like, oh. <laughs> well, we'll wait till. Cat's you go dead. Oh my again. god! <laughs> oh, set, dead set. Oh, okay. Dead set. <laughs> god, excuse me. No, it's fighting me mm. to chew my freaking microphone cord into. <laughs> That's the one good thing about these. It's short and it's, it's a not string. Uh, I'll just kick it. <laughs> oh, oh, I found a shoelace. Oh, that looks so nice. Yeah, I'll, wa I'll watch what I say. In <laughs> I wonder why the um, the vaccine advocates never show up when I'm here. They're so gone. I don't. You do have a fan club, that's for you sure. You know, I'm just sitting here with fucking 2,000 links ready to drop on somebody's head if they would dare fucking walk in this room and talk that shit. Because they know you're prepared, that's why. <laughs> Let's mentally uh, wish they would come in right now. And I got, <laughs> I got fucking mods, so I could definitely mute you and keep you muted until I get to finish <laughs> talking here. <Yeah. laughs> but now... I'm not in that other room where they mute me and pretend like I'm not saying anything while I'm giving my explanations. And I know, or turn you volume down. Can't you yeah. turn my oh, volume they don't want you here. Yeah. Or say your name over and over again as if they're in a position of authority or control over you, like oh, a mother no. or parent psychology, you know. <laughs> now, now. Fire that. Fire yeah. that. And if that's not your real name, it's really not even, it doesn't even work. So it works on people who want to use their real name really well because it's like a social you know yeah. you can't break away from it so it'd be like oh yeah that's true you know Rebecca. you're in real trouble Rebecca. with your mom's Rebecca. Yes. Rebecca. Yes. Becky <laughs> Becky listen <laughs> when they start doing that shit it's over you're done I'm not trying I, to yes. hear you yeah yes uh, like when you were a kid yeah I can't remute Rebecca damn it <laughs> I'm gonna mute you <laughs> wait let me see can I no, you can't. Can I try? My real name is Punch. Let me Cat. try. You can try. No, don't yeah. try. I muted her. Okay, we can take over the show now. <laughs> I'll run this. Show. You're muted. Oh, okay. I can't okay. Stand, though. I'm not going to try that, but. No, no. <laughs> <Just kidding>. no. <laughs> don't kick her. <laughs> Please don't. No. You can't move the host. Don't move the host. You can't move the host. That's like dropping that bomb on your head to get I rid of it. myself. <laughs> hey, you, you can, can go hide yourself. You just where'd you go? Where'd you go? <laughs> She's a ghost. You know. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, you can hide yourself. 
You know, I don't trust the person who can't be a bit playful in front of others. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh I my God, God. you must really trust me. <laughs> I didn't make that assertion I don't trust you just because you're playful either. So. I wouldn't trust anybody playful. <laughs> you know, it's, the people are just, they have to play. personify, you know, be a uh, personify, excuse me. Oh, yeah, they that have a personification. Persona, I mean, yeah. damn, same word. I'm trying to. Uh, <laughs> same word all together. There's got to be a word. The personality, uh, <laughs> a strange ego. I mean, the front they put, the mask they put. I'm trying to, to think of the damn people. word. And no, it's there just, is a word. So, so stupid. It is, you know, I'm so high right now. Damn it. Because I'm not a facade. Facade. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Facade. <laughs> Personification. That's a word. <laughs> I don't know the definition. serious. <laughs> <You're not. sighs> Persona. Hey, <And> then. <laughs> No, man, I was telling them, I went into town today, and the smoke is so thick, man. Oh, I was coughing, yeah, that's but I couldn't fucking breathe, you know, and the sun was on. Yeah. And so I posted some I pictures of it. It was, uh It shuts your lungs down, literally. I have fallen. So. Yeah, it falls from the sky like snow. That's the creepiest feeling. Yes, it it's is. like we were dancing in the snow, but it was literally and the ashes. And we ain't getting no rain till Monday, they said. Oh, man. If we're allowed that. A whole that. week from now? So, woohoo. <laughs> Not getting any rain, huh? Sounds like drought business. Yep. Sounds like drought talk. Yep. Yeah, it's been real dry here, too. And unusually cold for this time of year. Well, it's it's warm now. But. It's actually it's normal for this time of year, but you know it's supposed to get back up in the seventies next week. Mm -hmm. okay. Still relatively normal. Yeah. Can I exchange your weather for weather? <laughs> <laughs> Sweet weather. Pay, just, just pay the weather modificators. <laughs> That's all we have to do. It was like somebody posted flooding certain parts of the UK and then yesterday got drenched because it's nothing but pouring rain. Oh. And then today it's drizzly more. Oh gosh, it gets so that dark. Nice. It's just horrible. I love a bit of warmth. <laughs> I'm in the wrong place. I'm <coughs> a great sun. I'll be right back. Okie dokie. See you. Anyway. So good thing you got that uh that canvas link then so you're all set. Yes. <laughs> yes. Just... Oh shoot. That's the door. Well I guess you know, we could go ahead and go off live here. It's been almost an hour and a half, so yeah, most of the shit I have to say is uh, you can't yeah. tell everybody online. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, if you want to join, or well, I know Daddy's going to join, but if you want to join, just let me know. Uh, so we'll see you later. Thanks for joining. See you next Bye, time. Buddy. Peace.